Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. My name is Tom. Now in today's video, I'm going to go through the complete beginner's guide for VeChain. I'm going to go through everything and also importantly, where it is headed for the future. So stay tuned and definitely watch to the very end. Now, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And if you do like the video, you may as well leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And do comment down below your thoughts and opinions. All comments are very much welcome. Now, before I jump into the video, none of this is financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor and this is not sponsored content whatsoever. So with that being said, let's jump straight into what is VeChain? I think it's the, one of the biggest questions we get here at Crypto Busy. What are they trying to do? What are they trying to solve? So let's just go into it. It's a versatile enterprise grade layer one the smart contract platform that offers multiple solutions such as tracking for the food industry uh, supply chain um, and also transparency with that uh, for any business that offers fraud protection and also anti counterfeiting in automotive uh, industries and also for luxuries as well so it is ultimately one of these really good blockchains that uh, help alleviate a lot of the pressures within the supply chain logistics it's a big thing and I think it's one of those industries that are sometimes overlooked but but it's, it impacts everyone um, and it also impacts every single company because every company doesn't matter how big or small that you are there is some form of supply chain that goes within that so whether you're apple and you're building one of the new iphones you have to track every single part how it is manufactured where it is going to be placed where it is going to be put how far along the production line that particular phone is or that particular you know laptop is apple needs to know where exactly it is at um, and the same for also fraud protection as well it's important that uh, any business has you know to protect their own IP or even though to protect where things are going to be going that is also super important and then also when it comes to where things are going for the food industry as you can see from this figure here it shows how VeChain can be in many different industries the food industry as well is super important again where along that supply chain particular item of food is or even you know if it's a it's a food that is maybe in how is it tracked and VeChain can offer those solutions across the board which is absolutely insane and that's why we are big fans of what VeChain can do um, and what it has done in the past and also where it can go in the future. If you're aiming to solve a huge issue that companies want to buy into, I think it's a big thing in my opinion. So that's the first thing. And then also going into that further into the VeChain ecosystem, you also have VeChain's blockchain itself, VeChain Thor. So let's go into that in much further detail. So what is VeChain Thor. So I'm going to go through what the website is, what it's aiming to do. You know, so what is VeChain Thor itself? It's a constantly evolving public blockchain committed to helping global enterprises and governments to achieve sustainable development goals or SDGs efficiently, quickly, and also at a low cost. So that is a super important thing when you have a look at where things are going to be going for blockchain within the space and how it is also going to be adopted. I think it's a super important thing. So again, showing what it's aiming to solve, what it's aiming to do, but this is the blockchain that VeChain has itself. So so it's really cool. It also offers a proof of authority uh, consensus mechanism, which is different to the proof of work and also the proof of state. So proof of work is where you have uh, machines carrying out different calculations to solve an equation or a mathematical problem to validate transactions on a blockchain. So Bitcoin is a great example. Ethereum was a proof of work consensus blockchain. It is switched to a proof of state uh, consensus. And that is where you have many different validators who stake Ethereum itself, who hold Ethereum in a wallet and then they would be selected at random to validate a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain by holding some Ethereum and that is an example of, of uh, proof of stake. When it comes to proof of authority it enables uh, secure governance uh, for the platform or on the platform itself by a group of trusted nodes and that's where the authority comes into that. So additionally onto that as well VeChain Thor is designed to handle many transactions uh, per second making it suitable for solutions that demand a lot of scalability. Um, so again looking to the supply chain logistics and then also high volume uh, processing and transactions. But uh, VeChain isn't really the only climate change solution itself. There's also they're planning to build a digital sustainable ecosystem. You can look at into their roadmap that they have here um, and where they're trying to solve that as well. Now it's an interesting one. We'll have to see where it goes with that. But um, that's another thing that they're aiming to solve and aiming to do. Again, looking into what, what they're trying to solve there, which is yeah super important. And um, they've also branched out into a thing called the proof of authority 2.0 or the, the 
the POA 2.0, and that is meant to combine the strengths of the Nakamoto and the BFT or the Byzantine fault tolerance and architects while also eliminating their individual uh, weaknesses. So solving one of the great trade-offs in blockchain design, scalability versus data finality. So that is also an interesting one to see where things are going to be going for that as well. You can look at this in more further detail, all links down in the description below so you can check out yourselves in much further detail. So there you go, that's one thing there. Going further into this as well, sort of reshaping business for sustainability, um, I think it's also super important. Again, it's not just about tracking and tracing. VeChain also has its sights set on making businesses more sustainable and transparent. And I think transparency is a super important thing, especially when looking into uh, supply chain logistics, when looking into, let's have a look at the automotive industry, for example, there's a lot of transparency that is needed in terms of, again, where is a particular part along that supply chain and how it is going to be fit together to create that final product. So for example, if you're a BMW, Mercedes, you have many different parts that you need to source from all over the world. So it's good to know where each and every single part is in the world and then also where along that supply chain is as well. So VeChain can offer solutions with that, which is, yeah, super interesting to see where it is going to be going. And then also you have on top of that, the VeChain token as well that goes with that. It is also um, involved in a partnership with the world's largest audit giant, DMV. Um, and that is also, again, providing that extra analysis there uh, for where things are going to be going. So audit giant DMV GL partners with VeChain to push blockchain technology for this. And I think this is, again, it's a super important thing to have a huge audit firm like this to look into the ins and outs of what it can do for the future. And also you can see here as well, linked on the screen is uh, VeChain Thor blockchain empowers lifecycle management, premium beef produced in Australia with VeChain toolchain in turnkey solutions. So again, many different solutions across many different industries. It's super interesting. So do comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. I'll be very interested to hear what you guys have to say about this and also be responding to some of your comments down below as well. This is from the official Twitter. Again, the use cases of VeChain's blockchain technology are there are limitless apparently. Um, they've built use cases with major global vehicle brands, including BYD, which is a Chinese car manufacturer and bus manufacturer, Renault, and also BMW. So yeah, it's super interesting to see where this is going to be going. And um, you can see here the token itself, VeChain uh, is the data management revolution. So there's a lot of different use cases for this. And so that's why, again, we're big fans of where things are going to be going for it in the future. And also that adoption potential for it as well. And again, in the farming industry, in the food industry, there's also use cases there as well. Having a look at sort of the facts and statistics, the facts and figures here that we have. Um, so we talked about how VeChain sounds and how it sounds great. Um, but also let's back it up with some numbers here. So it, looking into the, the millions of transactions it has processed, the number of um, active wallets it has out there, and also looking into the you know where it is going as well. So it's a super interesting one. Do check this out in your own time. Facts and figures help back things up here. And I do think it's some really interesting stuff that goes with that. And you can also see the price action of VeChain itself. Currently, it is, in my opinion, not doing well. It's heavily hammered by the price of Bitcoin at the time of recording. I do think it does have the ability to do better in the future, provided there is going to be some future potential adoption, of course, with that. So it's dependent on a few other things in terms of the market and then also in terms of how just Bitcoin performs over the next year or so. But usually if Bitcoin performs well, most of the market does also perform as well. So you can see how uh, VeChain versus Ethereum versus Bitcoin was over the years. And also just, again, comparing to the different blockchains as well. I'll leave this link to on the screen again, so you can check out yourselves much further detail. Do pause this if you want to read this in more detail here. This is a super interesting one as well. So going further into this and sort of the conclusion of VeChain and also where we are headed um, in terms of Web3, because it is also just sort of an interesting thing to see where things are going to be going for it. VeChain offers kind of like a Web3 as a service. It's a platform that allows any company across the world in any sort of industry to use its product to help alleviate a lot of the pressures that are out there for supply chain logistics. You know, in some cases, in some places, you know, there are companies, covenants out there that will still use paper. Now, in my opinion, there is there is certainly a use case for it, but in terms of speed, efficiency, and for instant communication across the world, VeChain, in my opinion, I think has a great ability to provide a lot of these solutions here. I'll leave these all linked down in the description below so you can check it out yourselves in much further detail. You can see that Singularity Net and VeChain have joined forces to drive an AI blockchain innovation. So there's definitely sort of a future use case for this as well, in my opinion. I think most of this also does you know, lean into where it is going to be headed for the future and dependent on the ultimately, I think also just the adoption is an important thing. So we just have to wait and see where things are going to be going. Hopefully I've covered everything in today's video. Hopefully I've made sense in today's video. If I haven't, please comment down below your thoughts and opinions. I'm happy to clear things up in the comment section below. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to join the Crypt Busy family today and subscribe. That's it for me in today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.